This is the La Brea Tar Pits. It took millions of years to produce the petroleum-based tar in this bubbling pool, but after only a couple hundred years of the Industrial Revolution, we're facing rapidly diminishing oil supplies and increasing pollution. Hello, I'm Val Zavala. And I'm Joseph Benty. On this edition of Transit 2000, we'll look at some of the alternatives to conventional gasoline. I'll explore one promising option. It's natural gas. Compressed natural gas, or CNG, is already used widely in fleet vehicles. And could there be a CNG car in your future? I'll look at another clean air energy alternative, electricity. More powerful, efficient, and long-lasting batteries are making the dream of an electric car more and more of a reality every day. Alternative fuels are only one way to improve our environment. More efficient highway and rail lines are another. Ambitious plans for a new transportation corridor in Southern California could provide a major boost to our Pacific Rim trade and get trucks off our freeways. All this and a lot more on Transit 2000. Visitors have been coming to the La Brea Tar Pits for thousands of years. Some, like the Imperial Mammoth, came to stay. The industrialized world has been stuck on petroleum for a far shorter time. But diesel and gasoline may not power our transportation systems into the future. We need alternatives. And one promising example is now bubbling to the surface. It's natural gas. Natural gas is a gas similar to the air that we breathe. It's found underground. It was formed there over millions and millions of years from the pressure of the Earth's crust. It's a non-toxic gas. We use it to heat our homes, to heat the water in our homes, to cook our food. And we've now found an, an additional use in it to power the vehicles that we drive. Actually, natural gas has been powering vehicles since the 1930s. And today, nearly 800,000 vehicles run on compressed natural gas throughout the world. About 50,000 are in the United States, and that number is rising. Director of Alternative Fuels for the U.S. Department of Energy, John Russell. The thing we want to do with alternative fuels is simultaneously balance our energy posture and clean up the air by introducing alternative fuel vehicles to be the prevalent mode of transportation within the next 10 to 20 years. That's our goal. Federal, state, and local regulations are forcing us to come up with cleaner vehicles and alternative fuels, such as natural gas. The first affected are transit buses and other fleet vehicles. RTD Director of Equipment Maintenance. Rich Davis. We are testing compressed natural gas because it is an environmentally clean fuel and it has the potential of possibly being cheaper than uh, uh, existing fuels. So uh, it's uh, both an economic incentive and a, a good business move. Today, virtually all natural gas vehicles are in fleets. Examples are this diaper service truck and many rides and vehicles at Disneyland. Some are part of alternative fuel testing programs. But gas suppliers see another market down the road. Regional natural gas vehicle sales manager for the Southern California Gas Company, Mike Morelli. Currently our marketing emphasis is for fleet use because the uh, fleet vehicles uh, travel within a limited range and come back to a central refueling point. However, our plan is to uh, have the infrastructure grow to support the consumer uh, automobile all the way down to the people using their, their vehicles for everyday use. Will you be driving a natural gas-powered car sometime soon? Arco, for example, firmly believes that reformulated gasolines will be clean enough to meet strict new emission standards. Others say introducing natural gas vehicles and the refueling system to support them will be very expensive. How much? Today, for about $2,500 to $3,000, you can have a gasoline-powered vehicle converted to operate solely on natural gas or to run on either natural gas or gasoline. 
you keep your present car, but lose some performance along with some trunk space when you add a compressed natural gas storage tank. To get full performance and no loss of storage space, you can buy a factory-built natural gas van or pickup. The sticker price is about $3,500 more than a gasoline-powered version. But as an incentive, the gas company will pick up half the extra cost, and the federal government adds a $2,000 tax deduction. Other incentives. Natural gas is currently about 85 cents a gallon, compared to about $1.20 for conventional gasoline. Today, this UNOCAL station in the City of Industry is one of about 25 locations in California where general consumers can fill her up with compressed natural gas. Until a string of compressed natural gas pumps is built, individuals can use a small compressor at home. This unit is mainly intended for commercial users. The combined purchase and installation cost is about $4,000, and it takes overnight to fill a tank. Larger compressors, like this one, at the Long Beach Gas Department's public station, allow you to refuel a car in just a few minutes. Although procedures are a little different, it's as easy as filling up with gasoline. For maximum driving distance, natural gas is stored under pressure, resulting in many built-in safety systems. If a driver accidentally takes off with the filling hose still attached, the flow of gas is automatically stopped. Natural gas fuel tanks meet exacting national standards. In this test, the tanks withstood shots from a 357 Magnum. This dynamite test is equivalent to a car crashing into a wall at 90 miles an hour. And here's a drop from 30 feet. The car didn't do well, but the storage tank held up fine. We're not pioneering any longer at all. There are over 350 million logged miles uh, of vehicles running on natural gas without any single incidence of failure of either the tanks or the lines or any accident whatsoever. It is a safer fuel than gasoline. Natural gas is clean, relatively cheap. Supplies are abundant and nearby in North America. Also, natural gas powered vehicles are available from major manufacturers. But adopting energy alternatives can be costly and time-consuming. Not making changes, however, can be even more costly in the long run.